Hey guys, just back with another video. So today I wanted to react to something that I saw earlier today. It's a video of RFK Jr. kind of taking a little bit of a shot at Trump here. And I just want to have a look at this, then we'll react to it and talk about it after like usual. Everybody says they're going to drain the swamp in Washington D.C. President Trump said that he was going to drain the swamp. But then he brought John Bolton in to run the NSA. It was like the template for swamp creatures. And he brought Mike Pompeo in to run the State Department, who is the most bellicose and belligerent militarized foreign policy of any individual in our country. He brought Scott Gottlieb, a business partner to Pfizer, in to run FDA. And Gottlieb gave a, you know, an $88 billion favor for his company. And then he left FDA back to the board of directors to collect his payoff. And if you look at every one of the agencies, the same thing happened. There were more lobbyists in government than at any time in American history, running the agencies that are supposed to regulate their industry. And it wasn't about draining the swamp. I believe President Trump wanted to do that, but I don't think he was able to stand up to his bureaucracy. And he said great things. He said, I don't want to do lockdowns. They make no sense. And then a week later, he ordered them to a two-week lockdown that ended up in almost two years. He said that hydroxychloroquine worked, and then he uh, and then he backed down, so he was able to be rolled by his bureaucracy. And I believe that he had his chance, and that President Biden had his chance. The big issues that are confronting our nation, which is the destruction, the systematic destruction of the working poor of the American middle class, that it's gotten worse and worse and worse. And we need a we need a big change in this country. I mean that is brilliant. I mean very well said. I mean he's I know he's got the issue with his voice, but he's such a well spoken man and a respectable man. And you know the one thing I noticed about him is that when he takes aim at somebody, he does it in a very respectful way. He wasn't name calling, he wasn't yelling and screaming. He just said, hey, listen, this guy said he was going to do something. He didn't. And he's right, by the way. Trump did not drain the swamp. He added to it. He's the one who hired Dr. Fauci and then did not fire him. And again, going into lockdowns, keeping them going. He said he was going to end all the wars. He didn't. I'm not, listen, I am, I'm not a Trump hater. I'm not a Trump lover. Out of the choices that are right now, he's my second choice. I don't necessarily like that he's my second choice, but if they're the Democrats are going to keep running these garbage corporate Democrats at us, yeah, I'll take Trump over that. But Robert Kennedy is the guy that is going to do what Trump said he was going to do. That's why you're seeing a lot of people, especially people closer into the middle or people who are who don't usually vote are coming out and saying, hey, I'm voting for this guy. I know it's a little bit conflicting in the polls because, you know, it's right now I think he's only polling 13% nationally. But keep in mind, he's not on every poll. If he were, or the states that he is on the polls, he's getting 20 to 25%. Now, he's got a lot of work to do. He's still got to get on ballots. As of now, he's still only on two. I believe there's 10 or 15 others that he's very close. But then he's still got to get the big ones. He's still got to get California. He's still got to get Texas. He's still got to get Florida. Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, all these important states, and he's got to get on these ballots or he's got no shot. You know, the thing about Robert Kennedy as well is that it's not just that he's well-smoking, he's, he's incredibly well-read, he's incredibly smart, and he's a great lawyer. We need someone like that. Americans have been complaining and clamoring for years possibly even decades, for a third-party option. And if this is an option that you don't like, then I don't know who the hell you want. Do you want Dave Smith to run as a libertarian? That's interesting. I would maybe vote for him over Robert Kennedy. But he's not running, at least as of now. And he doesn't have the... I don't, I don't believe he would have the polling numbers or the support. Again, if he announced he could go on, he's friends with Joe Rogan and all these people would love to have him on the podcast, and he could gain popularity. 
But that being said, RFK Jr. is kind of already there. Maybe you'll even see Dave Smith get offered the vice president's job if Robert Kennedy wins. I know that they've had a little bit of a dispute over the Israel issue. And I'll be honest with you, I'm on Dave Smith's side with that one because, you know, when you kind of get involved in something like that, it almost sounds like a war with Iran or in the Middle East could start where we're heavily involved. And that would be very, very disappointing if Robert Kennedy let that happen. I am a little bit concerned about that. I don't I don't see him letting that happen. I think he's too smart. I think he's too um, – I think he's very careful and calculated about what he does. He knows that something like that could start a World War III. You're pissing off Russia. You're pissing off China. India is not too happy with us. Then you're going to piss off Iran. It's a lot of people we're pissing off. And those four countries all of a sudden get together. Who knows what could happen? I'm not predicting World War III. But it could lead to that, and you cannot let that happen because we're all dead. This isn't going to be a battle of the trenches. This is not going to be some, hey, uh, army tanks, and this is going to be nuclear weapons or drone strikes. It'll be a nuclear war, which means <laughs> who's going to survive that? The world would come to an end if there was World War Three. So I don't see Robert Kennedy Jr. letting that happen. But I get the concern. I understand Dave Smith's concern. So I don't know if he would accept the, the vice presidency job, but I think Tulsi Gabbard would. Pretty big fan of hers, and I think they would be a great team. I've talked about that before in another video, but they would be a, that would be a great option for Robert Kennedy. I think it would be a good option for Trump, too. I, I don't know if Tulsi would accept Trump's. Um, but that being said, you know, it's just it, – it's very interesting – to see Robert Kennedy just be very honest and very respectful at the same time. He admitted there was things that Trump said that he liked. There's things that Trump said that I've liked. But this guy, a lot of people want change in America, including myself. And the best guy to get the job done is this man here, Robert Kennedy Jr. So if you're American and you're listening to this and you're thinking, well, I, I like him, but I don't want to vote for him because if I if I don't vote for Trump and I vote for Kennedy, that might be a vote for Biden. You cannot be scared. You have to vote for who you want because if we don't do this, it's just going to be Trump or Biden or more likely Trump and Gavin Newsom or Trump and Michelle Obama. Corporate Democrats have been in, in charge for a long time. Trump used to be one. Mega Republicans got in for four years. And like Robert Kennedy said, not much change. Did have a good economy. The first step program was great. The peace deal with North Korea was excellent. Not starting any new wars is good. But there was just so many things like he mentioned here. And then I added to like hiring and not firing Dr. Fauci. That a lot of his supporters or a lot of people who are like libertarian kind of centrist populist kind of people. They didn't like that. And it pissed them off. And you can never forgive someone like Donald Trump for doing something like that because he's so he just punches his message out there in such a strong way if you're going to speak like that your actions better be the same way and you better get this shit done and he did not he did not deliver on those things and there's no reason to think he will this time either especially if he's going to hire people like Gottlieb and in Bolton I mean it just doesn't make any sense to, to Hire warmongers. I mean, you're supposed to be the opposite of this. This is why Kennedy is the guy, because he's not going to do that kind of thing. He's not going to fund Ukraine. He's going to fix the middle class so that we are not a poor working class. We're the middle class. Or you can have a job and a wife and a kids and still buy a house and have a car and maybe go on vacation once a year. If you're a simple-minded person like that, which is totally fine, the heartbeat of America and Canada is the middle class. And we need these people to do these jobs, but they should be able to afford a decent life. Decent job should translate to a decent life. Good job translates to a good life. Right? Bad job, bad life. But if you're working full time, there should be no such thing as a horrible paying job. But there is. And Robert Kennedy wants to help us fix this. This is why he's the man. He's a populist. And that's truly what we need. So if you're American and if you're listening to this, or if you're Canadian and you're listening to this and you know Americans, spread the word. Trump or Biden or Newsom is not the answer. 
I'll take Trump over pretty much anyone that the Democrats are running, but not over Robert Kennedy because he's the guy. So if you if you can spread the word, please do it so that more people will vote for him, even if it's just a few people. Right? If there's a, a thousand of you that sees this and you know a few people and one person knows another few Americans or you're American and you've got family members who are they don't know who to vote for, or they're, they're willing to change their mind, help them out. Show him videos like this. Or show them videos like this, rather, and just see, like, let, don't, um, a lot of people have formed their opinion on Robert Kennedy over what they've heard over the mainstream media. Don't do that. Listen to the man speak. And you'll see how articulate and how authentic he is. And even if he says something you don't agree with, he's thought it through deeply. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Spread the word. Spread the word for change, because we need change. And we need change right now.